we know we're missing actually a lot of people on both sides that we wish could be here. But marriage. <laughs> marriage is what brings us here together today. <laughs> okay. I mean Kendall is spared, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time for some tears, Sean. All right. We are finally here. In spite of roadblocks and hurdles, cross country moves and a pandemic. We are finally here. That here is on a Disney cruise, a place of magic and wonder, a fantasies and dreams seems perfect. I have spent so many hours thinking of what I wanted to impart to both of you on this day. And while I know Kelly thinks she knows <laughs> what I'm gonna say, and I promise I will get to that, there is something else that has been taking hold in my head and my heart leading up to this day. Do you want me to take your flowers? I just don't know what to do with my hands. So I don't think it's okay. Good. I think you look beautiful. Yeah, that, that fits. Now shut up. <laughs> okay. When your child opens themselves up and allows another person into their world, as a parent, you are very excited for them. Watching them experience romance, and fireworks and love is what we fervently hope and wish for them in their lives. And as parents, it is equally excruciating when there are stumbles and falls, bad fits, and worse, when our children are ill-treated by someone they trusted, someone that we trusted. But when the right person comes along, when we see our child bravely open themselves up to possibilities again, when we see them blossom in the light of another person, it gives us the strength to let our guards down and let that person in as well. Getting to know you, Sean, has been a gift. Just as I know your parents feel that about Cully. And watching you both grow together without fear, but with joy, has been everything. And it is in the knowing my daughter and in the privilege of getting to know you that I found the lesson that it's taken me 30 years to get to know myself. It's about our differences, how they complement, how they clash, and ultimately how they save us. Sean, I hate to break it to you, but you and I are very much alike. <laughs> we are confident. We know what we want. We know how we want it. <laughs> we are ferocious in defending our people, in stating what we believe to be right, and in moving forward decisively. And those are all good things. It also means that sometimes, in our haste, we step in it. We stumble, we even fall occasionally, flat on our faces. Cully. You and I share so much. We can finish each other's sentences. We have the worst, best sense of humor. But in every foundational way, you are your dad. You lead with kindness, a steady and sincere patience, and an incredible tolerance when things don't go as planned. Again, those are all good things. They are amazing things. Sean, look, hold on, let me turn the page. I'm gonna cry, okay. It makes for two very different people. And it's natural that sometimes you get frustrated when we don't understand the operating system and the other. I have lived that with your dad. And it took years to learn that his way is not wrong or lacking. My way is not wrong or lacking either. 
there's a place and a time for both and that it's in our differences that we forgive me for borrowing from Jerry Maguire we complete one another Sean it's only with a Cully or like me with a Rudy that we can fully be who we are because their patience their grace their willingness to love us through our worst shits and quirks. <laughs> it's what allows us to take our chances, to trip, to fall on our faces, knowing that there is a well of love, a cushion of tolerance, waiting for us when it goes wrong. And Cully, it's only with a Sean or a Linda that you can fully be who you are. You will never have a bigger champion, a louder cheerleader when you are uncertain, a stronger hand at your back to steady you, a braver shield in front of you to protect you in this life. It's not easy. And you both have had bird's eye views for the work that a marriage really is. Especially when the differences clash with one another but you've also seen the rewards that come, and it's worth it. Over the past months, I have watched these two personality types, the one that has always appeared stronger, and the one that has always stayed quietly in the background, your grandparents, as life has dealt its cruelest blows. And as I have seen his waning, in your face robustness that is your uncle Pat, be fully supported by her softer strength, her patience, her grace, her tolerance. What has always been quiet and steady has stepped out of his shadow. And never before have I seen with such clarity that when you have what they have, when you have what your father and I have, when you have what your parents have, when you have what you have, you are safe. You are balanced. You have everything you need, not just when the sun is shining and the days are easy, but when the worst part of for better or worse comes to call. So, when her patience seems so alien or frustrating, and when his forward motion and candor makes you want to kick him from behind. <laughs> Stop and remember how fortunate you are to have found the balance, the puzzle piece that makes you whole, the person who will defend you in any crisis, celebrate you and all your triumphs, and always catch you anytime you stumble. For better, it's easy. But for worse is when you see how incredibly lucky you are. Now, Cully and Sean have written vows for one another. Who would like to go first? Apparently. Okay, Sean, years ago when we first started dating, my mom asked me to describe you in one word. What was my favorite thing about you? I thought for a moment, and then I said, he's whole. I didn't mean that you were perfect, devoid of any baggage or faults. I meant that somehow, even with your baggage, with your faults, that you were honest, loving, trustworthy, and reliable. You were someone who had been through many of the same things that I had been through, things that tore us down or tried to change who we were. But like me, you emerged from it, not hiding from it, but growing stronger from it. Separate, we're independent, whole people, but together, we make each other stronger than we knew we could get better than we knew we could be, and somehow we make each other more whole than we are together. You're my best friend, my private diary, my dance partner, <laughs> my other half, and the love of my life. Your smile is magical. Your nonstop passion for encouraging me to be the best me is, astound is astounding. Your sense of humor, <laughs> which most people roll their eyes at or just don't get, keeps me laughing always. And you're open and honest, and you don't lie, you don't sugarcoat. 
You have a tendency to fixate on things for short periods of time and then get bored with them, but you've never gotten bored with me. You take forever to make a decision, but it's only because you want to choose the very best. The thing I love the most about you is how much you love me and how much you show me that every day. So, without further ado, I vow to you the following. I vow to always save 10% of the closet space for you. <laughs> I vow to let you eat my ice cream before I can get to it and only pretend to get mad. I vow to stitch all the holes you get in your clothing for now and always. I vow to always support you in everything from work to World of Warcraft. I vow always to make sure that you have enough sunscreen. <laughs> I vow to kiss you every morning when you wake up and every night before I go to bed. And I vow to love you day in and day out on the good days and the bad days. Above all, I vow to keep going down water slides with you from here on. <laughs> Your turn. use today to reaffirm what we've already known all these years. share my every thought, fear, and joy, and hear and accept yours as well. I promise to always be honest, to be true. And last, most importantly, I accept responsibility for what it means to have your love. <laughs> I promise to love you just as much in return. you repeat everything and then it's like a test. You'll just have to say two words when I get done. Okay. So hold on to her, right? And so we're done. All right. Sean Bennett Martyr. You have loved this amazing woman for many years already. I ask you today, will you promise to continue to love her completely even when she is unlovable? to support her as she traces her dreams with you and apart, to stand by her when life is uncertain and frightening, just as easily as when the days are bright and without care. Do you promise to continue to do all the things that won her to your side to begin with, to never stop wooing, considering, doing all the little things that are ultimately the biggest in the end? And finally, do you promise to always remember that you now carry Cully's heart, her faith, her trust, her hopes, her love in yours, and that only you have been granted the incredible honor of protecting that part? Please place the ring on her finger. 
promise to continue to do all the things that won him to your side, to never stop wooing, considering, doing all the little things that are ultimately the biggest in the end, and finally, and most important, do you promise to always remember that you now carry Sean's heart, his faith, his trust, his hopes, and his love in yours, and that only wait, <laughs> and that only you are granted the incredible honor of protecting that heart. Please place, heart. please place the ring on his finger. Okay. Before I pronounce you and set you forth on this life, there is the one final thing that you know. Your dad and I were told this 31 years ago on a tiny island in the Pacific as we sat in front of the minister with bare feet to talk to us before our ceremony. And it's been the mantra for years and years and years. Always build bridges and not walls. The bridges will always connect you despite the differences. The walls have no chance. Now, by this ridiculous power vested in me, <laughs> It is my incredible privilege and my honor to introduce you for the first time as Mr. and Mrs. Martyr. Sean, you may kiss your amazingly beautiful bride. Cue the music. <laughs> Woo! Woo! 